Hey guys, Function Built Aquatics, and today we are showing our Oxalotl, also known as the Abistona Mexicanum. Now, these these amazing salamanders are actually related to they're close they're closely related to the tiger salamander. Although the Oxalotl is 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 a walking fish, not it is not a fish but an amphibian technically when when the when the tiger salamander as that is at his first stage when it breathes water it's technically closely related to the to the oxalotl because the oxalotl does not breathe anything well he does breathe air he will go up to grab a gulp of air but he does not ever come he never loses his gills and he never comes out of the water. Right, and tiger salamander larvae go through the aquatic stage and then eventually go through the terrestrial stage where they go and hide in, in, in sphagnum moss on their logs um, and become pretty voracious predators eating small uh, rodents, um, small amphibians, insects, pretty much anything that they can actually catch and, and eat. Axolotl never leave the water never lose their gills, never go through that transformation. Now what is he eating in this video, Nate? He's actually eating Paradigm um, Carnivore, I meant to say. And we also give him Omnivore sometimes too. Uh, Omnivore from Paradigm has some crushed peas in it and it aids in digestion, which which can lessen the, uh, um, <clears throat> lessen the chance of him becoming impacted and having intestinal issues. What else you have going on there? Um, he's he looks like he's surfing on a leaf. Yeah, so he's you know he's enjoying his his five and a half gallon tank. Uh, what did we remove the, from the tank to make sure that the the tank stayed cool? We moved the filter because the filter the filter's motor was actually heating up the tank up to seventy degrees. So we scrapped that filter and put a sponge filter in there because they don't heat up at all. And that and it keeps it keeps the tank at a perfect temperature of about sixty seven degrees, which they don't really like seventy degrees. Sixty seven is the perfect temperature for them, and that's that's what we keep him at. Yeah, seventy is pretty much <clears throat> pretty much at the highest level for an axolotl to be comfortable. And we went with our trusty airlift sponge filters, which do a fantastic job of cleaning water. As long as you're religious with water changes, uh, there's nothing motorized or driven in them, as you know. So they do not raise the internal uh, water temperature, since there's no motor in them, and and it, and it, it so it suited two purposes and did the job perfectly. Um, so, what else do you know about axolotls, Nate? What did you learn about axolotls? Can they regenerate body parts? They can. Yes. That's actually amazing. I never knew that. Yeah, so axolotls have the ability to regenerate not only their, their tail, but also a limb. That... So if a limb was bitten off by another axolotl, it would grow back bone and all. And that... it's been proven. Scientists are studying axolotls for their regeneration, re regenerative pro properties and, Could... and trying to see how that can translate to, to humans and surgery and, and maybe even growing particular body parts. And checking and, and testing their cells and find out what in their cells create that. Where they not only grow the limb back, but they grow the bone back too. That is so cool. Um, I mean, you could literally transfer the DNA of of an axolotl to a human and regrow a limb. So, so that was my axolotl. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And. And we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.